Okay, here we go. Liberty from Lockdown Lethargy number four. It's all part of the Flying Fish Information Service and Challenges for Health. F Fish. Warming up. So why do we warm up? What's the point? Some coaches might say it's a pointless exercise, especially if you're talking about racing and that sort of stuff. However, I think it's a very valuable exercise. Physiologically, you're warming up the body. Psychologically, you're warming up the mind. And if you're talking in terms of a team sport, you're getting people working together in the same direction, doing the same things at the same time, and then going out and getting the best out of a training session or a race tra training session or a race session. So, what do you need to warm up? You need a body. You need a series of exercises. You could actually use the same exercises when you're cooling down. Obviously, warming up is dynamic. Cooling down is maintenance and development stretching. I tend to use something as simple as this, a resistance band. I love these things, as you know. I'm just going to show you about seven exercises which I use to warm up before I go paddling in the morning or before I do anything in the morning, before I have my breakfast. Here we go. So, resistance band. You can buy these very cheaply. Body rotations over the shoulders, over the backs rather, and we're shoulder width apart, knee width apart, and all we're doing, hips facing forwards, we're twisting from side to side. Okay, body rotations. Now I've got to say, before I do this with the band, I do a series of star jumps, so please do check an earlier video for that. Yesterday, in fact, number three. Next one, up and over, a bit of tension on the band. Up and over. You don't actually need a band, you need a rope or a piece of pipe I'll show you in a minute. Or a paddle in fact. Number three, helicopters. So not just warming up the shoulders, but recruiting the hips as well. I can feel this in my legs. So let's say 10 of those. And if you do this, make sure you articulate your wrists as well. So you warm up the shoulders, the elbows, and the wrists. Great one if you happen to be a paddler. Take the opposite way. That's number three. Next one, take that. So after the boy band, it's like a side bend. Go. That's number four. Head up back straight. We're working in that frontal plane again. Don't dip your head forwards. There we go. Once again, hips facing forwards. That's number four. Next one is a straightforward squat, overhead squat. We did this in uh, number two, I think. All the way down and all the way. Good squat technique. Down and up. Down and up. Down. Next one, across the back, is a rear lunge. So arms out the front, and we're lunging backwards, and then the other way. So from the side, lunge, big lunge, and lunge. So we've got tension on the top, and we're lunging at the back. That's number six. The last one is called a posterior chain stretch. A uh, compound exercise, double it over. There's loads of things you can do with these. So from here, we're going all the way up, all the way down, rotate out, Latin obliques. Notice how the bottom hand is stationary, rotate out. So you can see, up, down, rotate, rotate, and up, down, rotate, rotate, one more, up, down, rotate, rotate. Now, like I say, you don't have to use a resistance band, you could use body weight or something as simple as a piece of plumber's pipe. If you use a paddle, you might find if it's 130 centimetres, it might be a bit short. So something like a little bit longer than that, maybe 150, 160, is exactly what you want. You can do all the same exercises with a piece of spare pipe from your garage. There we go. And that is all there is to it. Warming up, make sure you warm up before you exercise. Stay flexible, flexible, agile, mobile, and energetic. Resist. Lockdown lethargy. Resist people. Thank you.